So technically, I could be a medium uh, worshipping a an idol of a deity, a known deity, but what's inside the idol could be a, a nefarious entity bestowing some gifts or blessings onto me. And then I think, aha, that must be the god at work. And I continue worshipping it, but it's a false god. Yeah, yeah it's um, it could be, but I have come to a conclusion. If a false god came down to do good things, I don't see anything wrong with it because is there anyone here? What did you find? You are listening to supernatural confessions. A true god, if you're not practicing humanity and good deeds, then what's the point? So, mm. in my opinion, there's no. Good or bad powers depends on how you use it and mm. the end result. What do you want to achieve at the end of it? And that's what really matters. If you if you use God power to do bad things just to mm. make money out from all these followers, as you know, there are many cults. You have heard a lot, all these mm. cults, and mm -hmm. they were worshipping God. How come? you know you end up not mm. doing a good thing so i've seen evil spirit they they turn to become a good spirit to help people so you know in forcing or um what buddha said like yinian chen fu, yinian chen mo, this is true it depends on mm -hmm. your free will which side dark or the light that you want to go to so sometimes i i i go somewhere i saw something but Despite it's not God, so what? This mm. so being is helping. So it's an intention and the outcome of whatever that is being done. So it could be an evil spirit or at least a negative vibe. The energy pattern, like what you said, is a negative, a very in energy. But yet the in energy entity helps you out for the good of a greater good or humanity, for the example. And that's okay. And also, I find that, you know, um, Angel is very extreme. Sometimes they, I mean, if you read the Bible, mm. you, I'm sure that there are a lot of um, extreme examples of like, oh, if you if you don't believe in God, you're going to get punished to hell yeah. and you're a yeah. sinner doing this and that. Sometimes I felt like, well, this was actually written by a human being. Mm. Did they actually mix up God message mm. when they perceive it did they actually mix up God message I I believe that you know no God will ever want to do harm to us but at the same time if it's so extreme you know then I, I don't know like despite you are an angel then you are but you're here to punish people because Let's say a person has sex before marriage, mm. <laughs> that kind of thing. You're a sinner. You you're gonna get sent to hell. So, I'm wondering like how true to that point that the angel is saving life. Or I guess you you understand what I'm trying to. I do. Yeah. Explain here. This other thing as well in a very Western narrative of the world and religion is good versus evil, Christ versus Satan, and it seems that even in recent horror movies, there is this insinuation that the Vatican has been infiltrated by evil. How much of what we see in Hollywood is true or is that all entirely fabricated? Because a person who is able to see angels and devils and demons and the workings of what happens up there, I would imagine that you would have a little bit more insight than a common movie goer. How true is that? Gee, some of the movie... They have done a great job because whoever <laughs> wrote the script, I, I find them, you know, have done their research because what happened, okay, maybe not in a very exaggerating way that a spirit comes into your house and then they chop off your head. Or I think that's too exaggerating, but some, some of the scenes are actually real. Like, for example how they fabricate hell should be like or heaven should be like and 
how who is truly God. I I have I find like well actually this is not far from what I've seen in some of my visions. Mm, Memories or visions or or dreams is actually just like the movie. I mean, for example, like even Simpson, they they have since the nineties or something. But you know, they predicted a lot of yeah. things that isn't that weird. Like then I started to think, who is this guy who who wrote the Simpson script? Maybe you know he. This this is coming back to the question you said that Tian Yan. Mm. To me. Everyone has this pioneer guy who's called Ted Ai, and we mm. can use it. And everyone can open this because we were born with this Ted Ai open. But as we grow older, it started to shut down and it becomes narrow, more narrow and narrow, eventually just close. But once you clear out all your、uh, confusions, you know, your mind, when your soul, body, and mind all align. You have a clear vision, and and a lot of time I find that Western society, they don't actually focus so much on opening third eyes to see God, but they're more in tune with the creativity to to create movies, um, to create TV series, to to invent new technology like Elon Musk,、yeah. so ambitious trying to build home in Mars, that kind of things, and they don't generally talk about. You know, oh, I'm seeing God. This and that. I got this ability to talk to God, and on top of that, the Tianyan that I was talking about is actually um, it's no longer viewing vision here. It's something a lot bigger that it has many many layers to it. Um, I, I don't know why it's on the highest level because I'm not there yet. I think if I achieve that level, I should be God or Buddha myself. <laughs> it's called the enlightenment. What I have is slightly higher than the third eye, so I can. It's almost like I can、um, see something more. I can see the past, the future, the present, the not just entity from from this planet of Earth, but many other universe that exists on this entire、uh, galaxies and and so on. So、um, that is called Tianyan, and Tianyan to me. I'm 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 not having this in a very high level. I'm merely past so-called the entry level, and that is something that I have accumulated since many many lives. That I'm doing the same thing, and I practice it for almost a thousand year in order to arrive here. This life, I'm not practicing a monkhood life, so I wouldn't say that I have this. On a greater skill, I I would say that bare minimum. If anything at all, you're trying to reject、fine. it and get a life of normalcy. Yes, that's correct. Are you able to see someone and then tell their past life? Because you mentioned the different timelines and you can go back and forth.、Uh, would you be able to see? I mean, that's what people say: past life regression and stuff like that. Is that something you could do with your eyes? Yes. However, I I try try not to use my third eyes or Tian Yan so much, because it really consumes all my energy. First, you need to have a very clear mind, without any your own personal thoughts, because you yourself can imagine things. And in the beginning, this was such a challenge. Am I imagining this, or do I really see a vision? So for many years, it took me almost like ten years to to go back and forth and questioning my own sanity, to to find proof that what I'm saying is, it is true. It had happened, and and you know I constantly、um, reevaluating what what I've done, and you know there's a lot of self or internal battle、mm. that I have to go through、mm. to arrive to this point that I I now find a way. To do this in the most accurate way, however, I wouldn't say it's hundred percent accurate, but it's close. It's the closest to the truth.、Mm. There must be at one point in time that, that as I, and I'm going back to this again because I've always been curious, and I'm sure this is a question a lot of people who are listening to this podcast or YouTube video is going to ask, especially those with the gift, like how you were told that it's your imagination. And a lot of people with ability to see things would be told that they are crazy. 
And where do we draw that line? Like, how do we know? How how did you know, like, once and for all, beyond any reasonable doubt, that you are not crazy, you're not imagining things, this is the ultimate proof that it's more than that. You have a gift. When was that time? I think when you have hit enough fans um, that you have talked to enough people, you have encountered enough experience that have proven what you say is true. This can only happen in times. For example, I find that now with the new generation, Gen Z, millennials and so on, yeah. they, will talk, they will tell me um, they start practicing meditation and here they are, can talk to God, angel, so on, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then there's this type of people, they were born with this gift. They also can see or hear. But at one point, you know, I have interviewed um, people who are insane mm. and got better or people who are high on drugs or substance. They, when they came out from it, what are the differences when you can see all this in their mind? Mm. They all gave me one conclusion. It looked the same because everything it happening in your mind. So therefore you can't really tell. And how to tell? Only time can, can prove. So you need to question. Some people don't question. It's like if they see God, they're really happy. They don't question it. And they say, oh, are you God? Like the, the, the beings say, yes, I'm this God. So yeah, the being told me they are this God. I, I, they don't question, you know, there's no next question. It's like, sure, like, how do you prove? Like, who gives you the permission to, to prove to me? What, where is the evidence? And there, there is this belief that if you ask any entity three times, they can't lie to you. Is, is that true? Or is that a fairy tale? I think that's... Just made that's up. Not true. Yeah, it's just <laughs> made up. But what I find is that... Um, so when you have all this doubt, you can start to ask yourself, um, if you see someone, for example, their grandparents or your friends, relatives or your relatives, it all started with a small circle, you know, someone that you know, oh, I have this premonition about this person. Then this person came back and said, you know what? The other day, this happened to me. And then you know, oh, actually, that my vision was correct. And then you, you went to a person's house. You, you saw there was a spirit in the house. And, and they, you start asking questions. They, they told you, yeah, this relative. And then you start to talk to the spirit and the person. Then they both give you like an identical answer. Then you'll be like, okay, this is actually getting somewhere. But a lot of time, you know, it could be still your own imagination. <laughs> So by then you really need to start to detach the reality the and the imagination. So you first, I think my way of doing it is probably not everyone's way, is to clear my mind because my own thoughts keep coming in. If I read a person, if I don't clear my mind, mm -hmm. I see some, I saw a vision, a, a video clip, for example, I can't really tell what it exactly is. So I guess if you have doubt whether you're crazy or real, um, don't worry, go see a doctor. You know, talk about your feelings. I think this is like really important because you need someone to share your concern and the professional, like a psychiatrist or a psychologist can help you to, to let go of all this like insecurity, doubts and so on. But then at the same time, you know, trying to to get more and more evidence. So if you believe that you see have seen a spirit with this person and they want you to tell this and that, um, so get clarification, you know, make sure that both story are aligned. Normally, both story when it aligns, it it sounds more reliable, but it doesn't mean that the spirit that I'm seeing is is really of this whoever person describe it, it could be another spirit who pretend to be the relatives. Mm. So you see, they, there are different challenges. At the end, you know, you, you, you are finding your own spiritual path. 
to to tell the where this is uh, imagination yeah. or real, then just take your time. There's no rush. A lot of people this day they rush to have this gift, which I'm not advise them to do so. Try to get more and more evident, and sometimes the bad spirits or the evil things, knowing that you have this outer ego that you want to have this power, they will even send a person. Like me to go to you. Oh yeah, you are someone really special. You know, like you can do this and that. I can see that. But actually, you know, wherever this um evil thoughts that project in this so called the needs, the person who has the gift who telling you all this, they didn't know. They're just receiving the message.、Mm. I've I've seen this quite a lot. That when the evil wants to do, you know, like wants to control a human soul, they. They tend to give this person the they what is most desire in their heart, and if their most desire is to have this ability, they will just make their ego e- becomes even bigger and bigger. So the the more more spiritual you are, the ch- more challenging and the tougher the test that you need to face. Because someone like me, in the past, all I need to confirm is whether I'm talking to the right entity. But now, this there's other form who comes into me could could、uh, uh, appear to be God. I don't know if they are real or not. Sometimes the energy is so close to, you know, God that I can't. I I cannot. I will only say they're indifferent. So even I need my time to 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 digest all this information. So the best is I not to tr- run rush into a conclusion that you have to give, but take your time at least few years. I would say five to ten years to prove if you are truly gifted. Eventually, this the so called this seed will flourish by itself. You don't have to push for it, and if you. If you really wanted to have this ability, then do it in in a right process. Not、mm. not just keep, you know, trying to get a shortcut.、Yeah. There's no shortcut in life. I guess if I don't work, I don't get paid. I cannot pay my bills, pay my food. Simple as that. There's no shortcut. Everything comes with hard work, and there are many ways to test on human being desire. Um, endless. I mean, even recently, I've been test, you know, to face my own demons.、Mm. It's a constant battle. I have, you know, I have constantly have this feeling. I want to go to the dark because, you know, they gave me better offer. They look after my interests. You know, if you are working with God, they always test on you. They give you the toughest, hardest, <laughs> you know, most inhumanity. Way of testing you, but if you go to the dark, they give you everything you want, everything you desire. So I don't know. Even for myself, it's a constant battle. This is why I prefer to be a normal human ma- being, like a muggle in Harry Potter, <laughs> where I know, and I I don't need to go through all this. So yeah, people need to see if they are insane or not. First, check with the doctor, and then second. You don't really find ways to prove that what you see are seeing is close to the truth. If it's not the truth, at least it's closest to the truth. That's all I can I mean, say. God seems like an asshole, always giving you hard time testing you. But the dark side is like, here, take it, freebie. Everybody gets gets powers, get what you want, your heart desires. It's is it really that bad going to the dark side? What's the what's the price to pay? Is there is there a cost to it? The price are very. It's I don't know. I I saw in different. I mean, it's like this whole selling of soul to the Satan to the devil. Is that again? It's is that made up Hollywood bullshit? Or if you do, if you take your powers on the dark side, and then you fulfill your heart's desire. But back to the conversation that we had just now. If you use your powers for good, then wouldn't that be good? I don't know. I mean, we human is very complex. Individual, isn't it? We want to do good, but then at the same time, you have this very selfish desire that you want to do better, have、yeah. more money, look more younger, beautiful, you know, more popular,、um, more fame, and so on. I don't know. Whatever you choose, there's no right or wrong. To be honest, at this point in my life, I would say ch- choosing the dark, dark path probably is right for you. Then go for it. However. For every action you 
take, you yeah. need to be responsible for the the outcome of it. Yeah. So if you can bear whatever cost that comes in comes to you at the end, then take it. Why not? You can have everything you ever desire in your life, but there is the consequences. So the course could be, you know, your your soul is gone forever, you know, control and and going to suck there with this so-called devil or this or your life after life, I don't know, because you can't go anywhere. What is it just a... even your children hmm. and your grandchildren. So but but some people find this acceptable. For example, I've seen cases like this before. Um but they find they have the money to last all their generation. They're happy with this. So, okay, there's no right or wrong. It, yeah. it depends on which one you choose. But what, whichever side you choose, try not to stay in the middle. It's like me because it's pretty hard. <laughs> like you constantly battle with both. Mm. So, you know, sometimes me wanting to go to the dark, like, because it's really... Do they come tend- to you, like, in physically, like, you know, do they, they come down and go... They give you offers that you can refuse. Then the devil goes off. Then the angel comes in like, no, 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 don't listen to that. Listen to me. I got a better offer for you. Do they come in that way? <laughs> yeah. To me, it's more like a inner voices. Like, like an angel and devil on the shoulder that's... talking to you. Yeah. It's exactly like this. Shame on. Shame on you. You march right over there and cheer your old friend up. Don't listen to that, sissy. Grab a beer and watch the game. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, oh my god and you know at one point you're like oh my god I'm, uh, wow this is so it sounds like a promising life that mm-hmm. i'm going to have yeah I, i'll go here but then halfway through you can hear another voice like no this is wrong to me there's no right or wrong if you because i think this is the beauty of us like angel and devil they, they, they can't they have no free will so with us we've got the free will so choose whichever path that you think okay. suits so I, you the I, most. I've got a way to explain all this. Like you go to church, you're a devout Christian. Every Sunday, Good Friday, and every other time in between, you're at church, you're praying, you give your tithe. But then on the outside, you are no compassion, you're mean to everyone else, and you make people's life miserable. On the other hand, you have some guy who probably sold his soul for untold wealth, and then he uses wealth to create inventions that help a thousand a million people so although he may go to hell because he sold his soul but maybe in, if you look at it from the Buddhist angle maybe he has earned enough karma points to bring himself out of the rut again it's about striking that balance yes it's a balance and and whatever path you choose just remember there is a consequences and if you are okay and comfortable and accept these consequences then go for it, uh, including your grandchildren and great grandchildren. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. So the point is, you know, like I've seen, yeah, people go to church very devoted, talking to me how great Christian mm-hmm. they are. But at the end, you know, I have seen cases like where a woman she refused to give like a few hundred ringgit to to the dad to to buy an oxygen mask and rather have him, you know, pass. I mean, then she goes to a church and do donation every weekend. So I don't understand how this justifies she's a good Christian just because I didn't go to a church every weekend. And, you know, people are so, um, I don't know, skeptical yeah. or even judgmental. Whatever written in the in these so-called pages, you can follow. But do you truly get got wise and wisdom to be able to say that this is what he wants you to do i i cannot say that because i felt that god is beyond our imagination no one has ever truly seen god what is his form even myself the one the one and only time i've seen god was in my dream and he appeared to be like a life tree and he has never spoken to me but i when I stood in front of that tree, I know what was his message. And, you know, it was clear and loud. I have this overwhelming peace within me. But he had never really truly spoken to me. And so, therefore, you know, I, I mean, we can, we can practice religion, faith. And I think it helps when you're in a darker period of your life. 
But blindly, you know, following everything, that's not what God want us to do eventually. Eventually, he wants us to become a wiser and more intelligent human being to help ourselves to, to become better spiritually or mentally or physically. I think that's his ultimate goal. And, and if you can, help other human beings. That's all. He's like a father wanting the best for his child, imparting every single wisdom and knowledge to the child and hoping the child grows up, surpassing the father and doing even better and greater things. Yes, I think, I truly believe that God wants us to do better than him. But to his disappointment, it's <laughs> very difficult. Uh, okay. I, I think there's... Objective to achieve. Yeah, there's going to be definitely a lot more... Uh, opportunities for us to sit down i i i have so much to ask you i think this is going to last for a few hours really? uh yeah i mean it's really 1 a.m on my time it's what time is it on your side it's only 6 p.m all right good night and good evening good night from singapore good evening to to you yeah. well have a good sleep i hope that it's not yeah. too late for you no uh 1 30 it's good i'm gonna cut videos after this so Aww. i'll see you next time Okay, okay, take bye, care. Bye, bye now. Bye. I really don't feel like getting a Is there anyone here? What did you find? You are listening to Supernatural Confessions. <laughs>